part of the season is when networks buy at dozens of TV shows between January to May of every year and slowly narrow them down through stages to the ones they think have the best shot to stay on the air. As I am making this video, currently networks are trying to film 6 to 10 pilots so they can try and decide which of those they want to fully pick up the series. For people who don't know, a pilot is typically the first episode to a series. In this video, I will be talking about all the pilots currently in contention at ABC and whether or not I think they will get a series pickup or like most pilots get scrapped. Before I get into talking about the pilots for ABC, I must first talk about the coronavirus because it heavily affects pilot season and arguably ABC could be the largest victim of this. Due to the coronavirus, all of the pilots for all the networks had to stop production or in some cases stop the plans for production. At the moment, most networks are trying to wait and see what happens with this pandemic before they say anything. However, ABC is run by Disney. And the CEO, Bob Iger, did come out and say that to save money, Disney will be scrapping projects that they think aren't worth it. This includes some pilots for ABC. Now, this doesn't mean ABC won't still pick up some pilots they have already with one of them. It just means that the pilots that they don't have faith in won't end up filming after all this is over. Now that we have more serious stuff out of the way, let's talk about the pilots on ABC's radar. The biggest guy is about a private detective, Cassie Duell, who partners with ex-cop Jenny Hoyt on a search for two sisters who have been kidnapped by a truck driver on a remote highway in Montana. This pilot is the only one so far to get a full series pickup, which is always a strong sign that ABC has confidence in this project. This pilot is very solid due to the workers behind and in front of the camera, with the showrunner for this series being David E. Kelly, who also made The Crazy Ones, which starred Robin Williams, and the show Big Little Lies. Both shows are very loved by fans. Also, for broadcast TV standards, the series boasts a fairly high-profile cast, including Kylie Bunbury, John Carroll Lynch and Ryan Phillip. The Brides is a vampire soap about the empowered immortal brides of Dracula and the things they do to maintain wealth, prestige and legacy. The series is produced by Greg Volante who is known as the King of TV with 21 TV shows currently airing on multiple networks and streaming services such as the Netflix's You. It's fair to say that Greg Volante is very beloved and his name attached to a project alone can get attention. After losing multiple female-fronted shows like Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder, ABC have been looking for more shows with strong female leads for the past couple years now. Unfortunately, two shows they picked up last pilot season, Stumptown and Emergence, both with strong female leads, underperformed and are likely getting cancelled when it gets to May. This might help the bride's chances because ABC is more determined than ever to make sure ABC is the most popular network among women. Now, the issue with this pilot, according to Prime Timers, sorry if I butcher your name, Jean Maxime Reynolds, the bride's pilot script seems very close to not being family friendly, which is expected because the show's three main characters are vampires. This can be an issue because if they remotely want the show to stay how it is, they are going to need to put it in a time slot around 10pm, which is a time slot that does not end well for first season shows, like examples I stated prior, Stumptown and Emergence. Like I said, ABC is also run by Disney, who aren't the greatest fans of more hardcore content when it needs to be. So, The Brides is better off on a streaming service. Unfortunately, it is a pilot for ABC. 30-something else synopsis reads, Raising children never ends, but who could have known how hard it would be to raise parents? 30-something else is the reboot to the 1980s series 30-something, about a group of friends in their 30s trying to raise their children. In this reboot, those children are now in their 30s, dealing with similar issues that their parents once faced. This pile is most likely going to get picked up to series above any of the others due to the fact that it is a reboot of a beloved classic, and ABC have already hired a writer's room for the potential series to come, which is uncommon for pilots, but shows great confidence on ABC's part, as well as a pretty stacked cast including most of the cast from the original series, and some new phases like Chris Wood most notably known as Monel from Supergirl. Annie Rebel Below is a blue-collar legal advocate without a law degree. When Rebel applies herself to a fight she believes in, she will win at almost any cost. 
Rebel was a very strong pilot, mainly due to its star Katie Seagal, who was the most sought-after actress this pilot season, getting multiple pilot offers, but she ultimately chose Rebel for ABC. Also, the representation of older women on shows like this is a good thing, mainly due to the fact that there isn't many shows with leading women of that age, and ABC have been wanting to break those barriers with their shows. Like 30-something else, ABC has brought a writer's room for Rebel. Harlem's Kitchen is about Eli Rice, an executive chef and patriarch, runs a successful Harlem restaurant with his wife and three daughters, but an unexpected death thrusts the family into turmoil. This pilot is an interesting one. Even though I don't think the pilot will get picked up to series, I definitely think it could have the potential. Delroy Lindo is the actor playing Rice, however, it's very odd because he's willingly left a popular series for a pilot that might not even get picked up. This could either be a stupid decision on his part, or ABC could be hinting to him that they would want the show on the air. Wreckage. After a plane crash and missing for almost four years, the castaways are thrust into the spotlight after their rescue, becoming media darlings overnight. But they can't tell this real story, so they lie. Nothing is known about this series other than the plot. It is the only pilot for ABC with no cast attached and is probably one of the pilots Bob Iger was saying that we're gonna get scrapped. In my opinion all of these pilots are very strong minus wreckage however ABC usually only picks up four of their drama pilots but with the ongoing coronavirus they may only pick up three including the already picked up Big Sky so that only leaves two spots left. I'm going to guess they'll choose Rebel and 30 something else they're easy to market and they've already been through the hassle of finding a writer's room. However, either Harlem's Kitchen or The Bride's could very well get picked up as well. But we just don't know. ABC tends to be very unpredictable. I don't really watch sitcoms so I won't talk about them now, but I will quickly just list all the pilot synopsis so you guys can judge for yourself. Okay, so there is Adopted. When a Green Beret returns home to Texas from military service, he and his family struggle with the challenges of adopting his new brother, a 12-year-old Russian boy. Home Economics stars Topher Grace, about three adult siblings, one in the 1%, one in the middle class, and one barely holding on. Kids Matter Now is about employees must deal with a boss who is vocal in her stance against working parents and torments those colleagues until she herself becomes one when she adopts a child, throwing the office into chaos. As she navigates being a mother, the supervisor soon realises she must turn to those she once chastised for parenting advice, finding a confidant in her assistant and overworked mother of three. My Village is about an empty nester mum who wonders how she ended up alone while her children live their best lives thousands of miles away. Deciding her places with her family, she reinserts herself into their lives but her kids realize they might actually need her more than they thought. Prospect is about an idealistic young woman who moves to the frontier to be a school teacher, but her ideals quickly are tested when she learns that her students are rowdy ranch hands, not children. Nate and his wife choose to move from California to Nate's native Tennessee, where his parents still live, to raise their six-year-old daughter. They find the pursuit of a simple life to be much more complicated than they imagined. Valley Trash starring Jason Lee, the Harmons, a scrappy blue-collar family living in the Deep Valley, suddenly experience a major culture clash when their 14-year-old daughter, Abby, gets accepted to a prestige LA private school. Filled with students and parents who want nothing to do with her, her family, or their 818 area code. Wild Child is about a New York City teenager, Lenon Cronus. Life is turned upside down when she stumbles on a family secret. And finally, Work Wife. The story of a platonic male-female team whose professional success, personal friendship, and ability to share deodorant makes their lives work. Said in the world of real estate, Danny and Scott have taken the leap to start their own team, now feeling the stress of being the boss. They have to rely on the yin-yang of their dynamic more than ever to keep their professional and personal lives afloat. Okay, that is it for the ABC pilots. Next, I will be covering the pilots for NBC. 
Let me know down in the comments which pilots you think should get picked up and which do you like the most, which you don't really like. Just let me know what you think down in the comments. Alright, have a good day everyone.